Hi, hello everyone. I'm going to present this topic, amorphous state of foods. This is part of a topic on uh, phase transition and state uh, transition in food. Well, as you can see in this uh, picture, uh, we have this, do you know, can you recognize what is this? I'm sure you know, this is cotton candy. So cotton candy is actually made from uh, crystalline sugar, but in this form, after the processing, it is in amorphous state. So in this presentation, I'm going to explain in more detail uh, what is amorphous state and what's the difference between amorphous and crystalline state, and some examples of uh, food in the amorphous state. Okay, let's talk about the, let's look at the structure of uh, food solid. In general, uh, most uh, dry food or low moisture food uh, can exist in the form of a crystalline or in the form of uh, amorphous state. Many dry food or low moisture foods can be uh, present in the form of either crystalline or in the amorphous state. Thermodynamically, the crystalline form is at the lowest energy level or in a stable equilibrium uh, state. As you can see in this picture, the, the, the sugar here, the table sugar, which is too close, um, if we look at the molecular arrangement here, the crystalline state basically has a more uh, ordered molecular arrangement, it is more uh, systematically arranged in a specific pattern, as you can see in this picture here. And it has uh, what you call as a long range, long range order. What does it mean by long range order? Because if we look at the structure the molecular arrangement in the crystalline uh, state, we have something like, you know, if it is the molecules, the molecules are arranged in a specific pattern on the crystalline lattice, uh, which occupy the space, um, as we can see here. So this is what we refer as the long range order. In contrast, we can see here um, the same crystalline sugar can be processed and transformed into an amorphous state. So here we have uh, from crystalline sucrose, we have the um, cotton candy, which is basically in the form of amorphous. And the majority of processed food actually exists in the amorphous form. The more dynamically, the amorphous state is at a higher entropy level than the crystal. And as you can see in this picture here, the molecules in amorphous state are non-aligned, they are tangled, they are more open structure and more porous. And um, in amorphous material, the molecules are randomly uh, ordered, they are tangled together. Probably we can have a kind of uh, what we call this a short range order uh, compared to the crystalline uh, material where we have molecules arranged in a long range uh, order or in a specific uh, pattern. Sometimes in the amorphous material also we can find the density at one point is different from uh, density at the other point and they are quite uh, you know not very uniform as compared to the uh, crystalline material. Okay, let's see some examples of uh, food, solid food in the form of um, amorphous. Uh, in this slide, you can see um, we have a crystalline sucrose here, which is in the crystalline form. But depending on the type of process that we use, for example here, uh, this is a process of uh, making cotton candy. So what happens here by using this uh, equipment the sucrose is melted and then spin, uh, spin at very high speed 
So the melted sucrose actually uh, spin out from from this uh, from this spinner. You can see here, and it will come out as a very uh, thin strand, and it will cool down very fast because uh, it is spinning at at very high speed and then uh, come out in contact with the air, and it will cool down very rapidly, and since the cooling is very rapid, it doesn't have time to, the molecules doesn't have time to rearrange into crystalline pattern. And therefore, it will convert or transform into an amorphous form. So this is a product, the cotton candy, which is an amorphous. So what we have here is a state a transition from the crystalline state into the amorphous state. And Using another, another type of uh, processing, we can also convert the crystalline sucrose here into another product, which is here we have uh, the uh, hard candy here, which is also in the form of amorphous uh, state. Maybe I should mention at this point, when uh, the amorphous material uh, also is known uh, as a glass material or the amorphous state is also known as uh, the glassy state. So I will describe in the next presentation what's the meaning of uh, glass or a glassy state. Okay, this is another example. Uh, what we have here, this is uh, actually um, a corn grid. Corn grid. And we use concrete as a raw material to produce an expanded uh, snack food. Uh, for example, here we, this is an example of common expanded product that we have um, uh, commercially. So to convert from the concrete, which is in the amorphous form, uh, into another product, which is also um, amorphous in the amorphous state, we use a process called extrusion. So what you see in, the piece, in this picture here, this is an extruder. So we put the grid into this extruder. Uh, in the extruder, we have uh, a screw which rotate at very high speed. We add water. So what happened, the, trans the amorphous um, material transformed into, um, uh, into a rubbery or into a soft state, a rubbery state. And then when it come out um, at the end here, so this is called uh, a die or die plate. So when it come out here, uh, it will expand to form the product like we see in this picture uh, here. And once it come out, uh, it will cool down very rapidly and form into an amorphous uh, expanded uh, snake. This is another example. So I'm sure you, you can recognize what is this. This is a, a, a spaghetti in the dry form. So dry form of spaghetti is actually in a glassy state or in an amorphous state. So when we cook the spaghetti, so we, rub, we put the spaghetti in uh, boil hot water here. The transformation or this, the state transition will occur here. The glassy will form. The glassy state will form into a so-called rubbery state, which is the the spaghetti that is ready to be eaten. So what we have here is a transformation of spaghetti, which is initially in a glassy, amorphous state, which is hard and brittle, into a rubbery, which is soft and um, in the soft, uh, it, ha it has a soft texture. So in this uh, condition, we call it uh, rubbery state. Here is another example. We have um, this, the crackers, um, which is in the dry form, in the amorphous uh, glassy state. And when we put it in hot oil over 200 degrees Celsius. What happened is the uh, transformation from the glassy into a 
รับบริสเตดแอนด์เดนเวนวีเทคอิทเอาท์แอนด์วีคูลิทดาวน์อีวอลทรานส์ฟอร์มแบ็กอินทูเดอะกลาซีสเตดนี่เป็นอีกตัวอย่างเราเรามีที่นี่เราใช้น้ำผึ้งแล้วเราใช้การสกิดเชื้อที่เราใช้ในการสกิดเชื้อที่เราใช้ในการสกิดเชื้อที่เราใช้ในการสกิดเชื้อที่เราใช้ในการสกิดเชื้อที่เราใช้ในการสกิดเชื้อที่เราใช้ในการสกิดเชื้อที่เราใช้ในการสกิดเชื้อที่เราใช้ในการสกิดเชื้อที่เราใช้ในการสกิดเชื้อที่เราใช้ในการสกิดเชื้อที่เราใช้ในการสกิดเชื้อที่เราใช้And it will be uh, the water will evaporate at high temperature in the drying uh, chamber. The temperature is over 200 degrees Celsius, and then it will transform into powder. And because the drying process uh, occurs very rapidly and the water evaporates very rapidly, the particles will dry to form a powder, which is also in the amorphous glassy state. And most food powders are actually in the amorphous glassy state. And uh, we have many examples of food powder. For example, in this picture here, uh, these uh, dry uh, spices. And we have here a coffee powder or instant coffee powder. We have a cocoa powder. These are all in the amorphous glassy state. And when uh, food is frozen, the freezing process itself uh, will produce Um, the amorphous uh, glassy uh, ice in the in the food system. So in this case, uh, when we reduce the temperature low enough, we can form a glassy state in the frozen food, and this will provide uh, stability to the food. Okay, now this is um, let let's see. Uh, You know, this is a question that probably we can uh, think uh, and ponder. Can amorphous and crystalline structure coexist in a food system? What do you think? Well, the answer is yes. Example for ex uh, where we have amorphous and crystalline uh, phase exist together is in a product uh, like you see in the picture here. Uh, this icing sugar. sugar. And this is a starch uh, powder. So um, in this uh, product, for example, icing sugar, icing sugar is produced by grinding the uh, the sugar uh, particles into into a fine powder. So during this grinding process, some of the crystalline uh, uh, form. Will be transformed into a morphous state, and uh, in starch we have actually a mixture of um, crystalline and amorphous uh, phase in the granule. So in this case, uh, it is possible to have the crystalline and amorphous state exist together in the same product. So that's all for now. Thank you for listening. In next presentation, I will uh, explain about the. Phase and state transition uh, from the solid amorphous state into a rubbery state, and finally, probably, you know, from the rubbery state, it can transform into a crystalline state.